Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I thought I would do the long overdue Q&A today. I don't even know why this is taking me so long to film. In the beginning, it was because I was traveling, so I couldn't film until a month after I got engaged anyway. So basically, I got engaged. I can't believe it's been two months now, but got engaged we went to Rosemary Beach and that's where I got engaged and then came back. I had one weekend to pack and prep for Italy. And then we were in Italy for 17 days, basically the whole month of September. So I got engaged in August and when we got back from Italy and traveling, I felt like I was so go, go, go. And I got a new position at work right before I left. Actually, the week after I got engaged, I came back and quickly moved into a new position at work, which was a lot more stress, a bigger workload. It was just a lot to juggle. And coming back from Italy and coming back after missing so much work and a new role of work was a lot. And I think I burnt myself out with work and it was hard to make time to film this video. So I'm filming the video. Yes, it's been a couple of months since I got engaged. If you guys don't care anymore, <laughs> feel free to skip. But I wanted to answer some questions that I've gotten. And there's like a mix of wedding stuff, engagement stuff, and just life stuff. So I guess I'll start with the engagement stuff first. And I got one question that said, when did you catch on? Was it that weekend or before? I had a feeling it was happening either in Rosemary Beach or Europe, but what made me think that it was happening in Rosemary Beach and not Europe was, or Italy, I keep saying Europe. We went to uh, London, flew in and out of London and we were just in Italy, I keep saying Europe. Um, but we were in Italy, which is in Europe, but we weren't all over the place. We were mainly in Italy. So um, basically what made me think it was Rosemary was a couple weeks before we left and I had no idea. I was kind of thinking it was happening on one of them. I really only get, so I said, <laughs> this may sound crazy, but I said my one rule for getting engaged is I wanted to have my nails done and I never get my nails done unless we're going on a trip or doing something like that. So I knew it could potentially be happening on a trip just because I said I don't care like where it happens. I don't care about any of the little details. I don't care. I just want to make sure I have my nails done. It's just like a simple, but maybe that's a lot. I know a lot of people don't care, but I feel like a lot of people are on the same page with me. I just want my nails done and them to look good. So, and I never got my nails done. I never really keep up with that. So the only time I do is on a trip. And Christian and I just hit our five year anniversary this year. And I just had a feeling that it was happening this year. And we had like a big trip planned and then out of the blue i didn't really put two and two together for a while when it came to this rosemary beach trip i kind of had a feeling it was maybe happening in italy but with rosemary beach out of the blue i remember mentioning to him like oh my gosh to our friend group oh my gosh i have been dying to go to rosemary beach like i would love to go there it would just be so fun to go and randomly a couple months prior before booking the trip, my friend Sam said, oh my gosh, my boss has a friend that owns a home in Rosemary Beach and it's available the weekend of August 17th, 18th. She was like, should we look into staying there? Like it would be completely free. And I was like, this is like way too good to be true. We can't pass up this trip. What are the odds that this happens? And Sam's boss is a really cool woman i've only met her once but she's really cool and i just didn't think too much of it so i just didn't think it was out of the ordinary so we like started planning everything booking that and then a couple weeks before sam put together a notes app with like a just a rough itinerary because we went to california a couple years ago as a group um the same group of friends except for one couple and there was like a whole itinerary and it was incredible like it just having a basic plan for each day was really such a game changer so we wanted to do that for this trip and i remember getting the note and i wonder if i still have the note or if i deleted it okay i still have the note 
So I was looking at the note and this was the teller and I was like, you know how you can swipe back and forth on your phone to like go to a previous page? So I was like looking through the note, like researching stuff. So I was swiping back and forth and I swiped over. If you swipe over, you can see who makes the edits and who adds them. So it says somebody, I don't know why it's changed. Maybe he removed himself from the note. I probably should delete it too. <laughs> but the purple was where Christian was adding stuff. And I was like, why is he adding stuff to this note? And it just was really unusual. I was like, why is he adding it? Like, I didn't think he was in charge of like researching places. Then I went into like the details of the notes and like the activity which is a little bit of an instigator move, but I mean, whatever, it's access, it's information that's basically handed to me. And I see that everyone is added to the note basically a week before I was added. So everyone else was already on the note except for me. And then I was shared the note. So that was the main teller, which was the note app and Christian like adding stuff. He does participate in stuff like that, but at the end of the day, he's more go with the flow, especially with groups. He would rather just like pick and choose what he wants to do that day and not plan. So that was kind of a teller in a way. And then the day that it was happening, I kind of had a little bit of doubts that it was happening. I thought it was going to happen on Friday because we were like going and walking on the beach like around sunset and I was like, oh my gosh, like what if it happens? So on Friday we go to like the Pearl and then we go down to the beach and we're like hanging out on the beach and we were down there for a really long time and we saw like another proposal on the beach and we were down just kind of like looking at the sunset, walking around, taking photos and stuff for like a while it was like over 20 minutes and at that point i was like starting to doubt that it was happening and i was like oh my gosh lauren you're so stupid for thinking it was gonna happen and the only reason why we were stalling was because the photographer's camera wasn't working so that's why they were stalling the whole time but like during that time i was like doubting everything and i was like okay whatever it's not happening like it's fine but then it happened and stuff like that and that's why we took photos after the engagement the day after because the photographer's camera wasn't working so we couldn't get photos that day but we got photos on our, my iphone and it was i wouldn't picture it happening any different i it was everything that i could have ever asked for and more i was really just happy i was i've never felt more i was like so in the moment soaking up every thing i've never felt more relaxed and calm and just like in a bubble in my entire life it was the happiest weekend of my life this far and i'm so grateful for how it happened we were with all of our close friends christian surprised me with bringing the family up and it was just the best weekend ever and i wouldn't have it any other way someone asked your most memorable moment that day i don't know probably i don't want to get all mushy but probably the sunset was like the most memorable moment of that day because obviously like one of those types of moments like i wish my mom was there for and it was the most gorgeous sunset i've ever seen in my entire life and it was just like her like winking at me from heaven it felt like by saying like i'm right here so it was just such a it was just the best moment ever and um i remember the whole entire thing people think like oh like i blacked out during my engagement i remember like literally everything i remember when christian like what was said right before what he said i just remember every detail we were standing there and i was videoing the sunset and i was like this is crazy and he was like you know what else is crazy and i was like shut up and then he gets down on one knee it was so crazy and he brought my family up and it was that was just the most special day i mean everything was so memorable that day that trip was just incredible so someone asked if it's if, if my ring is lab grown or natural and it is natural it's not lab grown but lab grown diamonds are still so stunning i just wanted a natural diamond okay so what are you most excited for during the wedding planning process and um 
I don't know. I really want to try on wedding dresses. I have no idea what type of wedding dress I want. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun trying on wedding dresses. And I'm also kind of nervous for that at the same time because I'm very indecisive. So I feel like that might be a little bit of a challenge, but I feel like a majority of the time when I speak to people, they say they instantly knew when they tried on the dress. So I'm really excited for that. And then just obviously planning the whole entire thing is going to be so much fun, but probably wedding dress shopping and just having my vision for a wedding come to life. It's gonna be one of the best days. And someone asked, did you guys set a wedding date already? We did set a wedding date. We actually booked a venue and the date this past Tuesday. We signed everything, which is so crazy. We have our wedding venue and the date. So now there's a countdown. We are planning on March of 2025 and it's not going to be a destination wedding but that's all i'm going to say it is the most gorgeous wedding venue i have ever seen in my life i always pictured a specific vibe for myself and it completely went out the window when i saw this venue it is everything and more absolutely stunning i can't wait to share it with you guys and i'm just so excited um someone asked if i'm using a wedding planner and I am using a wedding planner. I booked a full wedding planner. I really wanted a support system, just someone who can help guide me throughout this process because I have no idea what I'm doing. And I'm working with, um, I will link their Instagram down below. I actually found them a couple months ago. I started following them on Instagram because I really liked their work and everything. They work with a lot of different venues. I think all over Florida, they do travel to different areas, but they're mainly out of Orlando. So I can link their Instagram down below if you are a bride living in Florida or Orlando and looking for a wedding planner. They do day of, they do partial, and they do full. When I spoke to my wedding planner's name is Jennifer, and when I spoke to her for the first time, I instantly was like, I have to have you. That's <laughs> my wedding planner, I have to. I hope this is in the exact same spot. I just ran out of memory, and I'm sorry about that, but talking about my wedding planner her name is jennifer she i think i believe she owns bella Sposa events which is the company that i'm using just felt safe and taken care of the moment i spoke to her so i booked them and i'm so excited to work with her and work with the company and yeah so i will link the company's instagram down below just in case you're in the market for a wedding planner did you and Christian look at rings beforehand? And no, we did not. I told him what I wanted. I said, I just want an oval cut on a gold band. That's literally all I told him. And it is exactly everything and more. The most perfect ring. I still look at it just in awe of how incredible it is. I am just stunned it's so gorgeous so i just basically told him i know people that are very i'm not like picky with a ring i just had a, i've always wanted a oval cut with a gold band i've just always wanted that <laughs> so that's all i said and i let him run with it because i'm not picky i mean at the end of the day he knows what i like um i like stacking rings i like thicker bands um i like kind of I'm a huge jewelry girl and of course I'm not wearing any of my jewelry but I like rings and I like stacking rings and I'm just really into jewelry like that I love the thicker band on this ring and it also makes it feel more secure I absolutely am obsessed with my ring love it so no we did not go ring shopping or do any of that stuff um randomly um a year ago in austin texas we went into like a jewelry store because i was looking for a cartier love ring which christian actually got me it for christmas last year which was so unexpected um we went in there and i wanted to check like the ring size to verify because there's no cartier store in orlando so i would have had to have ordered it online i was just looking into getting one last august when we went to austin texas and we just like tried on a ring sizer to check the size of this ring which i don't know if i was just because we were like traveling and 
drinking and like eating unhealthy i was a whole ring size more swollen a year ago than i was now like i had to get my ring resized to a four and a half instead of the 5.5 so that's how he knew my ring size but i guess i like just was really puffy and swollen that weekend and um i had to get it resized anyway which was fine it was really quick it was like three days and then got it appraised and got it insured before we went to italy because i actually did end up bringing my ring to italy and i was kind of going back and forth on that because i was nervous i didn't really know what to expect we were traveling in train stations we actually took subway flying just like walking around i was a little bit i didn't know what to expect but i felt safe the whole entire time in italy the only two times that i didn't feel safe and i like flipped my ring around and i would just wear it like and it looked like a band was when we were in rome when we took the subway to like a different part of rome that's when it was like a little bit i'm um, just gonna like flip it around but the whole other time i felt completely safe with my ring on my finger so but it was also insured if anything did happen to the ring i would actually be devastated but because it's more of like a sentimental thing this is like the ring that he proposed with stuff like that but um yeah i felt safe the whole entire time how many guests are you planning to have at your wedding we're probably gonna do a hundred which was an easy number to get to if i'm being honest um so we're probably gonna do 100 which is i guess on the smaller side of wedding but 100 people and how is wedding planning going i mean we haven't really done much we are probably not going to be planning a lot this year it's mainly going to be next year kind of just wanted to get the date and the venue booked and a wedding planner booked and that's about it really not start planning until next year we do have 16 months people do ask why it's such a long engagement or why we're postponing the wedding until then i didn't even think it was that far away i mean i guess it's normal to do like a year but it would only be like it was 18 months after we got engaged so i think like a year and a half is pretty standard if i'm not mistaken for engagements but maybe it's just because it's like 2023 and it's like not till the beginning of 2025 but i just think it was pretty standard it does give us plenty of time to save and enjoy the process and enjoy being engaged you really only get engaged once i mean standard like you hope to only be engaged once so i'm just like really wanting to soak in and enjoy this whole season of my life and just get excited about becoming a married couple and being a wife and just taking that next step but i'm really just enjoying the engagement part and yeah we're just we're saving it's giving us plenty of time to save and create just a great wedding that we love and it's gonna be just the best so that is it for the wedding questions i think i guess now we're gonna get into two trip questions on average how much should one plan to spend on a trip to italy it kind of just depends on what you want to do how long you want to be there for 17 days is a very long time um i don't know if i'd recommend doing 17 days i feel like two weeks is enough it just depends on where you want to go there's ways that you can save money by not eating expensive restaurants a lot of the restaurants there are very affordable which is so crazy like you can get a plate of lasagna for like eight dollars and a glass of wine for like six bucks a lot of our meals didn't cost a lot there were places that we did go and like splurge on but we weren't doing that every day or three times a day or things like that um we also stayed in airbnbs and we set a budget for those of what we didn't want to go over on and um i think my biggest tip would to definitely save a couple thousand depending on where you're going where you're staying but being clear on the budget the most money we spent was on our plane tickets our airbnbs were literally like under our 200 per night so it just there are ways to cut costs and i don't want to give a dollar amount because it could vary for everyone but just be clear on your budget and there are ways to do it to save money and you can obviously look at the accommodations beforehand map out your route if you're interested in seeing my itinerary or seeing where i stayed or what i did i have two italy vlogs on my channel and 
I recapped every single day below them of where we stayed, where we ate, even some recommendations. So feel free to look at that, but definitely we'll need a couple thousand dollars to travel there. But being there, there's ways to budget and spread out your money. So it's just like getting there and the accommodations. Um, what was the peak and pit of the trip to Italy? The peak, it is really hard to pick between Positano and Lake Como because they're both so stunning, but Positano was just insane. You cannot capture that place in a photograph. Insane, but the steps, <laughs> the steps. I got shin splints from the steps. The pit, I just don't have a pit. Um, you're just so excited every single day to see everything and there was just no pit. I guess like the plane ride was rough and I was in the middle seat and you had like no room, no leg room and I had sleepless legs on the way back home and it was miserable. That was probably the pit, sleepless legs in the middle seat on a nine hour flight home. But I would do it again. I would do it again. It was the best, the best trip. Um, how is everything at work since you had taken on more? Um, work is good. I can't complain. It was a lot in the beginning, but I mean work is work and I'm happy and grateful for this opportunity and all the opportunities that I've been given work-wise. Um, very grateful. I have a very easygoing boss. Just great work environment, great office to walk into, great people that don't necessarily work under my boss, but work in the office. And it's just like enjoyable to go into the office every day and be around these people so can't complain really happy with where i'm at last question is do you still love your espresso machine i love my espresso machine i would buy it a million times over it was the best purchase I think I've ever made, honestly. I use it every single day. I don't get Starbucks. I don't really get coffee out unless it's like meeting up with a friend or going out to breakfast, which is really rare. I look forward to my coffee every single day and it's the best purchase ever once you get the hang of it. It's incredible. I will recommend this forever. I've had it for two years and it's the best purchase I've ever made the best and just when you spread out the cost of the machine over like i've had it for two years no issues if you go out and spend ten dollars on a coffee for 100 days you have the price of the machine or granted the price when i bought it it has gone up in price but it does go on sale around the holidays just is incredible highly recommend i'm gonna go ahead and end off this q and I hope you guys enjoyed this long overdue video. I'm sorry for taking so long on filming it, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions that you wanted to add, I will answer any comments or you can DM me on Instagram. Feel free. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.